Hi there. Thank you so much for listening to this audio. If you like my videos and would like to support the channel, you can like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to help out even more, I have a Patreon page and a donations page. I also take commissions. For more info on that, you can reach out through Instagram. All of these things are genuinely appreciated so much. And without further ado, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hi there. I'm back. <laughs> hmm. So, um, did you miss me? I hadn't visited in, uh, what was it, I think, three nights now? I really hope you missed me because, well, to be honest, <laughs> I kind of missed you. You are... Absolutely my favorite subject to, um, well, interact with. <laughs> I've been trying to learn your name, but I don't know. I keep missing it. You don't have it written anywhere in your room, which I suppose is normal, but I also couldn't find your ID and I don't know. I wish you could just tell me, so I could call you by your name. I wish I had a name. We just get assigned numbers that correlate to our job. Yeah, it's quite inhumane, but then on the other hand, I'm not really human, am I? <laughs> oh. Am I hearing that right? Is that? It is. No, oh, your heart's totally racing again. You're excited to see me again, right? Because by now, there is no way you're still scared of me. At least, I'd be pretty hurt if you're still scared of me. I've tried to avoid standing in the corner of your room in the dark because I found out that people don't tend to like that. So for you I change it, but for other people it's still just the dark corner. <laughs> because well, you know, that's where I'm most comfortable. But for you, I am willing to compromise. So, uh, would you mind if I come a little closer? Just a little. Oh, well, you can't really answer. You're paralyzed. <laughs> well... I'm gonna go ahead anyways, then. I really hope you don't mind. I just don't have much of a choice. Because... I... <laughs> I need to fade. Oh. You seem... A little scared. I think your heart just jumped there. Um... I'm not feeding on you, necessarily. Just... Um... God... What would be the human term for this? Your, uh, energy. Your aura. You see, different types of demons and afterlife creatures feed on different types of energy. So, angels on love and positive energy and friendship and, well, as a succubus, for me, I used to feed on passion and lust and everything like that. It had the most ravishing taste. <laughs> so sweet, yet 
always a little salty and spicy. It was great. But now, as a paralysis demon, I feed on dreams. It's a little more wholesome, and I still have to get used to the taste. I remember first time feeding on dreams. Gosh, I hated it. I think I threw up. <laughs> Poor guy. Must have thought his dreams weren't enough. But yeah. You know, there's a different taste to them as well. Maybe that's why I like yours so much. The more vivid and pleasant a dream is, the better it will taste. And your dreams, well, they are certainly very vivid. You maybe not remember them, but trust me, they are just so tasty. Come on, you really don't need to be scared if I come closer to feed. I mean, I promise it doesn't hurt. You won't even feel it. You wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't told you. All right. Come on. <laughs> you trust me, right? You're always excited to see me, and, well, I think you are. And we have this mutual understanding. So, you trust me, I think. What the hell did you dream about? Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you poor thing. Did you have a nightmare? Oh, yes, of course you did. Now I recognize the bitter taste. That must have been a really bad one. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Man, I wish there was anything I could do against those, but unfortunately not. I wish I could spare you those goddamn nightmares. But you'd only have the most pleasant and wonderful dreams. But, of course, it's only... Uh, it's also for my gain. Um, right, because um, I need to feed, too. And this is unpalatable. This is so bad. Vile. My god. But you must be pretty shaken up still. From that nightmare. You know what? Maybe this will help a little. Let me just comfort you. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. So I'll lay down next to you. And I can kind of hold you. In a way, I guess. It's a little strange. Um, but you should be able to feel... I don't know. You should be able to sense me a little bit. It's a bit... Um, electric? Perhaps even warm? Tingly? <laughs> it's nothing to be scared of. Interacting with me shouldn't harm you too much. As long as it's in moderation. <laughs> Is this um, comfortable for you? 
sure hope it is. You are just as paralyzed as ever. I do really miss that as my job as succubus. You know, being able to actually interact with people, having them respond back. And now here you are just laying there. And still I am enchanted by you all the same. Isn't that just fascinating? So, is it comfortable to be held by me? I, I think it is. Your heartbeat's slowing down a little bit. For me, this is definitely nice. I guess those succubus tendencies stuck around a little bit. You can take the girl out of the succubus department, but you can't take the succubus out of the girl. <laughs> well, demon. Not really a girl. Although that is probably how you perceive me. It's the only way your human mind is able to perceive me at all. Seriously, I really shouldn't feel this way. I, I would get fired on the spot if they found out that I'm interacting with a human like this. Let alone if they found out how I feel about you. Sometimes I'm just so scared to lose you. I don't want that. Because if I'm fired, there's no way I'd ever see you again. Which is why this is so hard. I don't want to have to hide my love for you, but... If I leave any trace of my existence on you... I'm gonna get chopped. <laughs> man for someone who can't respond back this is crazy oh I'm going insane because of you this better be fucking worth it <laughs> you know maybe one day I'll get a promotion from a paralysis team and I could get a role in your dream and I'd be able to find you every night. And we could actually interact, even if it is in a less physical plane. For me, it's just the same. And if that's the case, I could finally protect you from all the devilish nightmares that they've been giving you. Someone in that department must really not have liked you for them to give you such a terrible, terrible nightmare. Hmm. I'll see if I can find them. Have a good word with them about the content of your <laughs> dreams. But I can't give away too much. You understand that. Hmm. <sighs> I really do want to know more about you, though. Like I said, I've been trying to figure out your name. What if you leave me a note for the next night? You know, you can write your name and a little bit about yourself and maybe what you think of me. Oh. Wait. Never mind. The other demons would find it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> we really are a little cursed. Even if you like me back the way I like you, I'll never find out. 
And what if you don't? You know, maybe it's a blessing and a curse. I'll never find out if you like me, but I also will never be rejected. It's kind of peaceful and safe this way. <laughs> but also a little sad. I really do wish I could talk to you. Like you could say something back. But just the knowledge that I can be your paralysis demon instead of some someone else that would just try and scare you and something like that. At least I can give you a pleasant end of your night, you know? Someone that tells you fun stories and lets you know about things in the afterlife and, well is nice to look at. <laughs> you know, just some nice companionship. I'm happy I can at least offer you that. And I actually think, I'm not 100% sure, but I guess I could try it out next time. How I know that, uh, <laughs> you know, I could, I think, still have an effect on you physically. I am pretty sure that some of my succubus powers have lingered. Now, I don't want to overwhelm you with anything, of course. And I don't want to push myself onto you. Although that is kind of literally what I've been doing. Um, <laughs> I don't want to push my boundaries with you. Because I really, 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 really like you. And I, I just want to be close, you know? Even if that isn't possible. Isn't that ironic, that a sleep paralysis demon dreams of the person she haunts? <laughs> I really am just a bit silly. Perhaps delusional, but hey, we all gotta hold on to something, right? Just like I'm holding on to you right now. It's almost going to be morning again. I'm going to need to leave you again. But don't worry. We'll see each other again soon. <laughs> There's no way I'd leave you alone for more than two days on end. Well, three. I also have a weekend, so... <laughs> And I'll see you again next time, sweetie. Okay. I love you. Hi there. Thank you so, so much for listening to the whole audio. If you liked this video, don't forget to check out my other videos.